みなさん、こんばんは。カオです。ようこそ、エラナオテカへ。Good evening, everyone. This is Carl. Welcome to Aeronautica. Let me announce the chat. And you should have read the update notes. Oh, hello, Blitzen. Concurrent players. You're welcome, hello. All right. Let's get straight to the point. In the previous video, I've forgotten. A Lockheed Tristar variant. <laughs> Lockheed. All right. So this is the L ten eleven one, L ten eleven five hundred. Here it is. So. We can convert this Lockheed L-10-11-500 TriStar to this one, the Lockheed TriStar KC-1. The refueling tanker for the Royal Air Force. Hello, hey boy. So one of the <laughs> clear to land, departed the airspace. <laughs> Newer notifications. All right, so one of those refueling tankers, like the KC-10, etc. Oh, it's a it's Thai. <laughs> No, not Thai, it's, uh, yeah, it's probably Thai or Burmese. Burmese. And that is that. I forgot to <laughs> present this Lockheed Tristar KC-1 <laughs> in the last update video. Now we will go to Clarence International for the... Boeing 737. Max 8. Max 8. So the usual.
Oh, not this again. Text box. Mess up font. Ah. <laughs> What's wrong with this text box? Alright, so the font has changed once I click off the text box there. Hmm. Alright, so color one, the fuselage, color two, as in southwest, the vertical stabilizer and the fairings. We'll just use some kind of red here. Not 216, a 207. And color three, we know the wings and the horizontal stabilizers. Painted aircraft gray. And there you go. Your Max 7. Not Max 7. <laughs> Your Max, yes, the Boeing 737 MAX 8. Now joining the MAX 9, which is select Kitesboro International. Wait, not Kitesboro International, it's, uh, yes, Ticoronto International. The MAX 9's at Ticoronto. The 800's at Kitesboro. Right. Right, on to our next aircraft, which should be at Leavets International. I have to remind myself to uh, let someone change this Skyline livery. Brought 20 engines on the 300. We'll use one of the. <laughs> To Poliev and Platsat Possum, the on 28. We've got a surplus. And the trainer variant of the Yakovlev Yak Tritsat Possum. Let's wait for the Yak 38 to render. And then. It's trainer variant. The Yakovlev Yak Tritsat Vosem U. NATO reporting name Forger B. So, one seater, two seater. Same statistics, different capacity. And, and a bit raised in the nose area. And that's the Tritsat Vosemu. Which is unusual. Right. Aircraft gray, color one, color two. Well, it should be the armament. And color three, the secondary armament. There's your Yak Tritsat Vosem U, the Yakovlev Yak 38U, or your B. Let us now teleport to Alkany Island for the last. New aircraft. Should be a multi engine. Hmm, is that a helicopter? Where's that? Hmm. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's an ultralight. 
not a multi-engine. The Columba, MC Kant's Cricri. The Columba MC15. The MC Kant's. Color one, fuselage, color two, the vertical stabilizer, and the here goes the horizontal stabilizer. And there's your MC Kionz, the Columban MC-15, All right, that's all for the new aircraft. Now for the advanced configurations. Let's start with the Lockheed Martin F-22A. That will have to teleport to one of my F-22s. Well, how about my first one here? <laughs> Already logged by one five hours. So, color three, the armament. All right, what's new? So we've got external fuel tanks. Two missile pylons, and we can actually add <laughs> some Sidewinder air to air missiles. So, no missiles, missiles, we put field tanks. The outer wing, missiles, no missiles. And we can also add a center weapon bay, as well as on the sides. And there's <laughs> no check marks. So if you want it empty, add the sidewinder, more air to air missiles. Yeah, they're basically the same. And then the center weapon spray, you can add the the AIM-120. You can add only a pair of AIM-120s with the GB-39s. Or gb 32 Okay, you've got missiles, or a mix of missiles and bombs. Well, look at this. Do they seem different? The A1. Look at the geometry. Why not consistent? There's your Lucky Martin F-22A Raptor. 
Next plane with advanced customization, the F-15E Strike Eagle. So it's at Eisenhardt Air Force Base. Not a lucky Martin, it's a uh, McDonnell Douglas. <laughs> Why am I mixing those names up? Where's that McDonald? All right, F-15E. Hard landing into the server. Signing in over <laughs> new notifications. All right, F-15E, Strike Eagle. What are the new, oh, wrong one. <laughs> All right, so let's open the advanced customization and what's new here? So we're gonna add the drop tanks. You can add the drop tanks on the pylons, and then you can add the sidewinder and the the Amram. They are on missiles, air to air missiles, or. You don't have to put the missiles in. The center line, you can put a drop tank for GBU-10 bomb. Yeah, it's uh, British. Not, not British. <laughs> Amer yeah, it's, it's also American. Not much. Alright, so we got a GB10. Oh, you want an L2... L2... L200. I thought you said about an L... Oh, yes. Alright, so... Yes. So either a drop tank or a... A bomb, so... Alright, so conformal stores. You can add JDAMs. Or air to air missiles. So, air to All right, so it's either bombs or missiles. And then we got a targeting pod. You can use the sniper or the lightning. Default, and then extra fire influence points. And there is your McDonnell Douglas F-15E Strike Eagle. Uh, what a bargain. F-35 Part 2. Had they decreased prices already? So, current stock of F-35 Part 2. Uh, one of the Part 4. Okay, so that's all for the F-15E. Let's... And the way now to the SR-71. Should be at Linwood. So I bought this from another player. Pro 2 2011-2010. So your advanced customization is just this drone here, the Lockheed D-21. Not about that. Just the drone. Only use once in a mission. Else, it was, you can be attached to a B-52. And that's it. Your SR-31 attachment, Lucky D-21. Right then. So let's teleport to Oscar Floyd International. 
to the very last. Alright, so the radar station should be around here somewhere. But there's a lot of there's some snowfall here, so we can <sighs> Yes. We can we can go to Luffin some other time. Now let's just teleport to Umabutsu International. I guess they remodeled the towers. Okay. Ah, uh, doko desu ka? All right. Let's disable this radar. Uh, not enough range. All right. So. There's the Tokyo Sky Tree, and there's the Tokyo ta that, that the Tokyo Tower. I wonder what's changed. Just a remodel, remodel. Alright, so let's now teleport to Harden International. How about those wind turbines? Let's just use one of my many F 18E Super Hornets. You can see here, now see some wind turbines. A bit far away here. We should have teleported to Kawella instead. So, Kawella Resort Airport, at least the Sovereign. And there we go. We got the wind turbines. They're all working in tandem. But they should be following the wind direction. So this is clockwise, clockwise at the front, counterclockwise at the back. The front, that's, look at the inconsistency. <laughs> yeah. right, so this one's clockwise, this one's clockwise, and the one here at the Uh, also clockwise. Wow, look at that. They're all moving <laughs> in the same direction. <laughs> clockwise. Why this inconsistency? Okay, so the wind's at 12. Oh, here it is! <laughs> the Jamsy approach, plus the Clarence. So, there's the waypoints. You can, if you want to see the reference to this, you can look at the Aeronautica ADC website. And the... The height map. Let's now teleport to a single engine. Which single engine can we use? A Skyhawk Kappa Airport. Alright, so here's Kappa, the pseudo Satsuma. Where is this supply? 
And no supply run for this one. And now you have a search engine. Okay, no supply runs for this one. Let's try another single engine. How about the one at New England Town? We'll use the Galaxy PC21. Does this have supply run jobs? All right, transport, 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 and here it is. Here we can. This is an example of a supply run. We are. So supply runs basically a cargo job, <laughs> a cargo job, <laughs> but for single engines. So we need to go back to the content of Echo, Kyoko. I think we've overlooked something at Kibo. So, All right, All right, the Daima. So where's this fuels tank? All right, so where's the fuel tank? Oh, these. Okay, so there's, so we got Avgas and Biofuel, or SAF, Sustainable Aviation Fuel. You, you're, you can now refuel there. <laughs> All right. Did we forget something at Oscar Floyd? All right, static aircraft at Oscar Floy. Is the weather conditions not getting any better? Let's get the performance option and then render the parked AI aircraft. All right. And now touch the ground. Well, thank you for fixing this oversight for how many updates. There's Oscar Fly International. They fix the the park military planes. All right. Now how we can end this video? The Bombardier Global seventy five hundred, Global seven thousand five hundred. So where's Malo? Where's my Bombardier? <laughs> oh, probably it's on Foolery. Oh yeah, Actares. Uh, yeah, it's at Actares. Alright. So, alright, so they just able to touch the floor there. <laughs> Alright, so we'll end the video. What 
with a short charter flight to Oscar Floy. Or Kirsten. Well, Kirsten's so small for a bombardier. Well, maybe Clarence. Why don't you have to make it a short flight? And there's a replacement loading screen and the controls. Control button. The updated interface. And behold the new icons. So this is where this Flight storm. So here's Josef Frost and Oscar Floy. Alright then. So this is the waypoint Osram. And there's Eldis. Yeah. All these waypoints. Alright, um, let's let's have a normal charter flight then. Let us start the engines. Let's get rid of this. 707. We'll taxi to runway 27. They fixed the wheels. Now it's consistent with the ground.
Oh, come on. As we take off, see you on the next Aaron Hanarka video. Kodadag, God bless.